Hi guys, uh, greetings of the day myself uh, Vijay Tavarna and in this session I am going to show you an example problem on isometric projection and an example problem is like this. Uh, the following figure shows the top view of a cylinder which is centrally mounted on a frustum of a pentagonal pyramid of 60 millimeter height. Draw the isometric projections of the combination of solids. Now we have one uh, pentagonal pyramid that is a frustum. Uh, which is height is 60 millimeter and rest of the figure we have to see it from uh, rest of the dimension we have to see it from the figure now you can see that uh, the bottom base of the pentagon is 50 millimeter and the top base of the pentagon is 20 millimeter and then the height is not shown here because it is a top view and the height is given in the question as 60 millimeter and then we have a cylinder which is uh, positioned centrally uh, on a pentagonal pyramid that is frustum and then the diameter of the cylinder is uh, 40 millimeter and its length is 100 millimeter now let me show you how to construct these things now we can observe that in case of a 50 mm pentagon we have only one of the uh, edges which is parallel to isometric axis and rest of the four edges are not parallel to isometric axis hence to get the uh, isometric edges which are parallel to isometric axis so we have to enclose this pentagon in a box uh, in such a way that passing through the extreme corners. So now using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 and it should be a continuous line. Now let me uh, draw a small construction that is we are going to create the isometric parallel edges and then after constructing this isometric parallel edges we must know what is the size of this rectangle. It is measuring as 80.9 and 76.94. In the same fashion, the respective points where exactly the pentagonal edges are to be marked, we have to get that positions also. So now let me measure these values that is 15.45 as well as this value is measuring as 47.55. Now let me show you how to construct the pentagon first. Now the detailed construction we have already shown in one of the basic videos. You can revisit that. So now let me do it at a little faster rate. Now the edge what we have to take here is 76.94 at an angle of 30 degree and after which uh, 80.9 at an angle of 150 degree. Then again 76.94 at an angle of minus 150 degree and let me connect back to the first position. Now we have a pentagon edge which is starting from here. So here we have one edge the another edge is going to be connected approximately like this and this is going to be the midpoint and again a point on element and then connect back to the first point uh, then make use of a distance between command uh, with respect to by two points the distance between this corner to this corner is supposed to be locked as 15.45 which is as measured and in the same fashion these two dimensions are also supposed to be marked now the dimension we are not got perfectly so we will uh, reselect it so this is supposed to be 15.45 now we can adjust this the sides of the pentagon is getting adjusted according to the dimension and now this is supposed to be 47.55 and then at last this dimension is supposed to be given as 47.55 now we can say that we have got the required pentagon so now this dimensions and uh, these uh, lines can be deleted or it can be retained as a thin lines it doesn't make any difference for us and after constructing this pentagon so let me position this pentagon slightly at the bottom and then to get the uh, frustum of pyramid we need to get the axis position for which using a line command uh, let us make a small construction that is uh, we are going to draw any two perpendicular bisectors now after joining two perpendicular bisectors from the intersection points we should get the axis height as 60 millimeter as given in the question and I'm going to delete those construction lines which is no more required for me then the chain line format I'm going to show the axis and then we know that we have constructed the 50 mm uh, pentagon I was going to select the 50 mm pentagon then using a move command make sure that copy of the move should be on move this pentagon from this bottom portion of the axis to the top portion of the axis like this and then we can make use of a scale command and we wanted a 20 mm pentagon over there 
and available is uh, 50 millimeter so the scale factor could be calculated by 20 by 50 now one can position it exactly at the center over here now one can see that we got the required pentagon now once we got the required pentagon of size 20 millimeter so using a line command with 0.5 mm thread so one can connect all the visible slant edges of the pentagonal pyramid the first of pentagonal pyramid and then the invisible edges can be retained as thin lines or otherwise it can be deleted. Now one can see that the first term of pentagonal pyramid is all ready for us. Now after which we have to construct the cylinder of diameter 40 and 100 millimeter length. Now let me show you in a simple terms so using a line command with thickness of 0.15. So first we have to construct an ellipse because the circle is going to look like an ellipse in case of isometric projection. And the ellipse construction is also shown to you guys in uh, the previous video. So now let me show it directly. So the 40, 30, 40, 150, 40, minus 150. And let me get back to the same portion or 40 minus 30. Then using this midpoint opposite corner and opposite corner to the midpoint and midpoint to the corner and then to the midpoint. So using this we are going to draw the four arc uh, ellipse so this is the first arc and this is going to be the second arc we have got in a different directions so sometimes we need to keep on uh, repeating to get this uh, required values and now uh, the three arcs has been generated now the fourth arc has to be generated yes now we have generated all the four arcs and after drawing all the four arcs using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 now uh, from this center properly uh, so using these edges and these points so now the center of the thing is going to be there that is the ellipse then we know that the distance of uh, cylinder is 100 millimeter so we are going to create it then I am going to select these uh, elliptical edges then make use of a move command and move that elliptical edges from here to here with the copy command on so that we wanted a copy over there also and then using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.5 you can connect shear point to shear point or midpoint to shear point whatever it may be so one can see that we have constructed a cylinder of diameter 40 millimeter and axis length 100 millimeter but this is a vertical cylinder we wanted a horizontal cylinder to make it as a horizontal so one can select this uh, vertical cylinder then make use of a rotate command rotate this cylinder in such a way that one of the edges that is one of the isometric axis to be selected and make that isometric axis is going to be inclined to like this now one can see that uh, we have got the required horizontal edge that is by rotating this one at an angle of 60 degree one can see that we have got the required position then make use of a move command and uh, switch off the copy of move so now uh, let me move it and keep it certainly over here and now uh, this is going to be the axis so we will represent it in the form of a chain line so now if there are two lines are there so one line can be deleted and we can make it as a, a chain line and after which uh, let me delete these construction lines which are no more required to me and then according to the visibility point these arcs are not going to be seen to us so this is what the visibility now this center has to be positioned over here properly now we know that the radius of this uh, cylinder is 20 millimeter so let us construct the radius of 20 millimeter from the position of this axis that is 20 millimeter height is going to be constructed and then the cylinder whatever we have to be selected then using a move command move the cylinder with respect to the midpoint and it has to be positioned on the end point of the line what we have created and now this completes the construction then we can eliminate this line so now after which whatever the vis invisible lines are there that can be trimmed off using the command called as trim and then some portion is going to be here also so we can uh, trim that also now one can see that the construction of 
isometric view or isometric drawing is completed. Now selecting this figure we can convert this to isometric scale using the scale factor as 0.8164 times and this can be located anywhere on the sheet. Now by this I can conclude that we have completed the problem as per the given conditions. Now if you are having any sort of doubts to solve this problem my communication details are provided here you can uh, feel free to contact me at any point of time and thanks for watching this video please kindly like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much guys